Ladies and gentlemen, there was some racism going on at a restaurant in Baltimore. Now, a black woman and her son were denied service and they used the excuse it was because of the way her son was dressed, but a white child, similar age, was spotted in the restaurant dressed in similar attire and they were served. So here we go. So this is NBC News, June 22nd, 2020. Baltimore restaurant apologizes after video shows black woman and son denied service. The video shows a black woman and her nine-year-old son being denied service because the boy was wearing athletic shorts. A white boy in similar attire apparently was served. A Baltimore restaurant group apologized Monday after video surface of a black woman and her son being denied service because of the way the boy was dressed, even though a white boy was similarly dressed, was apparently served. The mother, Marsha Grant, posted two videos and several still images of the incident to Facebook on Monday, saying, although she had faced racism, it was hard watching her son Dallas endure it. I have faced racism time and time again, but it's hard when you see your child, nine years old, upset because he knows he's being treated differently than a white child, Grant wrote it. The incident happened at, I think this is Uzo Bay, a restaurant owned by Atlas Restaurant Group. The videos, a white employee, a manager who has not been identified tells Grant that she and her son cannot be served because of how Dallas is dressed. The boy is wearing athletic shorts, sneakers, and an Air Jordan t-shirt. Unfortunately, we do have a dress code. The manager begins and starts suggesting the boy change, if possible, into non-athletic dress shorts. Grant then turns her camera to a white boy who is dressed in athletic clothing similar to Dallas, who appears to be leaving the restaurant with his family after having been served. The manager later claims the video that he didn't get a good look at the white boy. Oh, I'm sure you didn't. Sorry, excuse. Atlas Restaurant Group issued a statement calling the incident disturbing. This should not have happened. The manager seen in the video has been placed on indefinite leave. Oh, somebody's about to lose their job. The statement says in part, we are sickened by this incident. We sincerely apologize to Marsha Grant her son and everyone impacted by this painful incident. The group said its uh, dress code are the result of ongoing input from customers and in no way are they intended to be discriminatory. Of course, they put out their generic statement like all companies do when they get caught doing something wrong. Atlas said, it was immediately changing its policy so that kids ages uh, 12 and under aren't subject to dress code. Grant did not immediately respond to the message requesting comment on Tuesday morning. However, this is not Atlas first time coming under fire for dress code. In September, it's restaurants, uh, the Chop Tank, banned baggy clothing, sunglasses after dark, and bandanas, according to the Associated Press. The restaurant later modified the dress code, the AP reported. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so let me show you this video from Marsha Grant. I'm sorry, ma'am. 
gentleman's already explained it to you. Okay, tell this to me again. You telling me we cannot eat here? So un unfortunately, we do have a dress code. Um, if you, you know, if you have some non-athletic shorts. But that white kid out there can be here with his tennis shoes on and his athletic shirt. We allow tennis shoes, but not, not athletic shorts. He has on an athletic you, you telling me that's not an athletic shirt? Not that one, but you're telling me that little boy who just ate here does not have on an athletic shirt. I'm sorry. I would, uh, I would love for you to be able to come back and eat here. So you telling me my son can't eat here because he has more athletic stuff? No, no, just the shorts. I just, it is it is part of our dress code. We try to. So it's it. only his shorts. Only the shorts can't be athletic. The shorts and the t-shirt. Yeah. But the little boy has on an athletic. The little white kid that just sat out there has on an athletic athletic tennis shoes and an athletic shirt. I I understand that you're upset. If there's no, it's not that I'm upset. The little boy out there had on athletic. You telling me it's no athletic way. The little boy out there had on athletic tennis shoes and an athletic shirt. So why does he get to wear athletic wear and my son can't? I, I again, I would love for you to be able to come back. Are you you live close enough for your son to change? No, I don't. I just want to know why it's different for my son. I, I understand how you feel. I, I, I don't want you to sympathize with me. I just want you to tell me why it's different for my son. I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm just asking you why it's different for my son. I understand. And that little kid that was out there with athletic tennis shoes and... We, the t-shirt the that the little kid was wearing, we don't consider that to be athletic t-shirt. Why? I, honestly, I did not get a good look, but it, it looked like a regular t-shirt. I have a video. Do you want to see it? If you would like to show it to me, I'm happy to look, but I... I, I, I do have to see how the guests... All right. I mean, th those children had on shorts and those shorts were probably a similar length to the one that her son had on. But you serve them, but you won't serve her and her son. And it's not like he was dressed sloppily. I mean, he what his outfit was neat. So y'all just tell me what you think on this one. It just looks like classic 101 racism to me. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.